Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create tables using LibreOffice Writer. So I'm going to open up LibreOffice Writer and inside here we've got a blank document. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm just going to hit the enter key a few times. Always try and place your table uh, make sure there's an enter key below your table it just saves you a bit of a headache so I've got this cursor position here and I'm going to go to this table option here and I'm going to insert a table which is one row and three across if you want four you can do four, five, six you can do how many of the rows I'll normally enter one row and in this example uh, three columns here you can see the one row and the three columns when you um, insert this table you'll notice these options down here will appear when you click out of the table they'll disappear so we're going to click inside the table and let's in fact click just above the table we want to add a title here so we're going to write in here for example if I was doing this work for my web developers I might do something like contact form uh, fields so the idea is I'm going to create this document and tell my developers um, what fields are required for a contact form for a client project for example so you can see there's one row here there's a few different ways to add more rows uh, the first way is to click on uh, this option here can you see it says insert row above or insert rows below so because we're on the first row we want to insert one below so we'll click this one here and that will insert a row below we can click it again it will insert another row the other way to insert rows is to go to the very last cell and press the tab key on your keyboard when you hit the tab key it will automatically insert a new row you can also use the tab key to move across the different cells in the table like this we can select the whole table using our mouse or we can drag from the left hand side here and select the whole table and we can set the borders here so we'll set the borders to this option here which will display all borders so now we can see there's a black line around the whole table in every cell in this top cell I'm going to write in here field name field type and maybe something like a comment here so just to give you an understanding let's just uh, open up my web browser basically creating this table to represent something like a, a form here with the different fields and what these fields do and if they're drop downs or whatever they might be so just to understand why I'm creating this table let's open up the table again so in this first one I'm going to type in first name and we'll type in the last name and maybe a telephone number we want to capture maybe uh, a business business name uh, if we miss something so here I want to insert a row above so I'm going to click on this option here and then I can write in here title we'll select we can highlight this first row here so I'll highlight it with my mouse and we'll make uh, this one bold So we've got title, first name, last name, telephone number, business name, and maybe budget and the first type of website. So in the title, the field would be a drop down menu, and it will be Mr. Mrs. Miss Doctor, something like this. So these will be the options in the drop down menu. And I'm telling my develop developer it's a drop down menu and the field name is title. First name will simply be a text field. The last name will be a text field. The telephone number will be a text field and number values only. So it'll only accept digits. 
the business name will be a text field the budget will be a drop down menu and then there might be options like zero pounds to 500 500 to 1000 and so forth there might be five or six different options in here and then type of website will be a drop down as well and this might say business website e-commerce website so there'll be a few different options in the drop down menu so here you can see how quickly formatted this table uh, let's just save this call it how to create tables save that document um, and then you can do other things to this table you can maybe you know this is more functional for my developers so it doesn't need to look too pretty or anything but you can change the background colors maybe if you want to do that you can do that change the background colors you can change the font styles in here you can set them to different font styles These are not too good uh, you can do loads of stuff here, so you have to experiment if um, You can resize the columns as well So if the columns are too narrow and some of them are too wide you can resize these columns to fit the content a bit better like this so you need to experiment and Sometimes you may want to add uh, an additional column for example, so you can do that as well So if we resize these Let's just get them resized We can click on this last column and then we can say insert column to the right so we'll insert a blank column on this side and you can type maybe some more information into this column give it a new title type in some more information so you have to experiment and see how you want to lay out your table have a good think before you create your table because it's always worth knowing how many columns you want the amount of rows you can add them quite easily but it's always nice to get the amount of columns correct first and then it will make your life a lot easier so that's how you add tables into LibreOffice Writer. I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.